Hey guys, welcome back to another Queen Form video. In today's video, it's actually really good news for Boost Infinite and I think Boost Mobile as well. So let's get into it, guys. Like I said, a lot more people are going to know Boost Mobile than Boost Infinite. Of course, Boost Infinite is also owned by Dish Network, which Boost Mobile as well is owned by them. And basically, basically Boost Infinite is the post-paid part of a Boost Mobile. So where you can finance phones and all that good stuff. It's basically almost the same as Boost Mobile, just financing uh, phones um, like I said they do I believe run your credit uh, yeah they do use like your social stuff to like run your credit it's basically the postpaid side of boost mobile so let's get into it guys and read more of this like I said this is the first time um, I'm reading this article with you to give you my honest opinion especially being in the industry for many years so it says boost infinite uh, postpaid shows up in boost mobile stores or in boost mobile store it's probably going to come out to a lot more stores later in the future. But like I said, this is a good way for them to advertise. It's totally free because, you know, they already have a loyal customer base of a couple million customers. And if they go to a store, they'll see the Boost Infinite. Um, you know, like here you go, uh, little uh, advertising board and as well in store. So, you know, if maybe you're you're in there, you have Boost Mobile. Of course, it's prepaid. Let's say you want an iPhone 14 Pro Max and it's $1,100. Most people don't have $1,100 to shell out at once because that's how prepaid works. But now they're like, oh, 0% down on Boost Infinite phones. You know, let's say they're advertising, I know they're not advertising the 14 Pro Max on here, but let's just say, per example, they are, then maybe you want to go ahead and try to get Boost Infinite and they can probably sign you up right there um, from the store themselves. Like I said, I'm not too sure, but this is just my ideas. Like I said, I haven't read the article yet, but this is by Fierce Wireless. So. Uh, but let's get into it before I tell you a bunch of other theories and maybe make this company a lot more money. <laughs> I was kidding. Uh, it says, Dish Network has put a lot of focus on getting its post-paid brand Boost Infinite ready for wide-scale commercial distribution, and it's been delayed a number of times. And that is true. It says, well, um, I don't even know why I put period and then start, but it should just start Dish, but whatever. It says, but Dish executives uh, promise they will be ramping up marketing and distribution for Boost Infinite later this year. Like I said, there's another video coming your way that we'll talk more about that. But so this Dish announced its its early access beta for Boost Infinite in December, offering an exclusive early access rate of $25 a month. But the brand isn't entirely entirely where they wanted to be just yet. Of course, especially with you know cyber hacks and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, it says during the company's quarter one earnings call, Dish Wireless President and COO John Schwernaga, I don't even know how to say that name, said Dish has made a lot of progress getting Boost Infinite ready to go. Like I said, remember guys, Boost Infinite is something new. Like I said, it's it's a it's still a baby. It's maybe like a year old, if that. Not even. Um, Boost Mobile, even though it's like I said, it's a prepaid uh, portion of it. They've been long been out for many many years now like i said probably 10 plus years um and uh you know it's well better known than boost infinite so you know like anything startup it's going to take money and marketing and everything to get it up and running so it says um one of the big things that that's been a focus for them is bringing the iphone to to the boost infinite lineup so that's another thing iphone is a big draw they don't. It looks like they don't. They don't have the iPhone yet. I believe it's just Android. That's why it only shows you a couple Android phones here. So, so says Boost Mobile sells uh, the iPhone, but there's a separate effort underway to get the iPhone on Dish own 5G network for Boost Infinite. Like I said, that's another. That's a big drawback that I see in my eyes. Like I said, a lot of customers, not everybody, but a big portion of customers want iPhone. Like me personally, I have an iPhone, and so that's why you know like. I wouldn't get Boost Infinite if they don't offer it or don't have support for it right now. So now if you do have Android, then you're good. But like I said, Boost Mobile, the prepaid brand, they can use iPhone. They sell iPhones on their website, but Boost Infinite just does not have that just yet. So this Dish Chairman Charlie Ergen said the iPhone is important because it's obviously a big part of the market share and it would be very difficult to be successful in the postpaid business without it. That's so true, like I said. iPhone you know, if, if you heard an Android user, you'll be all right. But iPhone man just draws so much attention and people, basically customers that a business like a cell phone in the cell phone carrier needs. So dish, you know, you need to do some some big planning talks with Apple, man. 
It says Dish is pinning high hopes on the postpaid business, which is a lot more lucrative than prepaid. That's true. Usually customers stay a lot longer on uh, if you're on a postpaid just because you're paying off the phone. So you kind of have to be there. So, you know, versus prepaid, you buy the phone and, you know, you, you can, I don't know, get it unlocked or just not pay the bill and go somewhere else. Uh, but, you know, that's usually if you're getting a cheap phone. So it says uh, Dish is, da -da -da, it says... Uh, in fact, Ergen suggests that Dish hasn't been as aggressive with Boost, knowing that it will be getting more economics um, when it can serve more Boost customers on its own 5G network and get a better return when those customers are postpaid rather than prepaid. So that's another thing. Uh, Boost, uh, well, should I say Dish, is making their own 5G network. Um, so they are kind of building it. There are some trials on it right now that you can check like YouTube videos where people are, are doing like speed tests and stuff like that. Um, but you know, they're, they're really um, betting a big portion of their business on post paid. So they need to get that business up and running. Uh, says analysts at Wave 7 Research recently spotted a Boost Infinite display at a store in Aurora, Colorado. It appears to be a trial and sources are telling Wave 7 that the broader launch is expected coming months. So as you can see, they are kind of launching this in certain markets right now. Just kind of see how people respond to it. You know, if usually they have a good response, then they'll uh, spread out to broader markets. If they don't, then maybe they'll hold off or rethink their marketing. So as a dish spokesman provided the following statement in two fears. Currently, we sell Boost Infinite in one Boost mobile store as a store within a store concept. concept. The spokesman did not provide any other information. So like I said, they're kind of trying trying this because the Boost Mobile store is already there. So why not go ahead and put some advertising for Boost Infinite in there since it's basically free, you know. Of course, prepaid versus postpaid is what I was talking about. It sounds logical that Dish would use existing Boost Mobile stores to sell postpaid service, but Wave 7's more said that's not necessarily how it works. Uh, prepaid and postpaid are a different animals and they compete in a very different uh, different neighborhoods, he said. Usually prepaid guys, I'm not saying thing, but usually prepaid is more for the lower, lower class. It, that's usually what uh, people think with when it comes to prepaid. Now, like I said, you can be a millionaire and still have prepaid. That's totally fine because you with prepaid, you have to buy the phone outright. Like I said, back to my 11, uh, to my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Sorry. It's $1,100. If you want it on prepaid, if there's no discounts to it, then you'll go ahead and pay that $1,100. But then your cell phone bill usually is cheaper because prepaid plans are cheaper than postpaid plans. Most of the times. Unless you get like four lines or something like that, you know. But uh, but yeah, so it says, in my opinion, Boost Infinite needs a presence in higher end neighborhoods uh, with a, let's say, look, look at that, I was telling you, with a totally separate brand and would leave Boost out of it, but it's not my decision. So like I said, they're saying, you know, Boost Infinite, they probably want to be on the better side of the market. So in the richer neighborhoods the, or the busier intersections, um, usually where, you know, people with money kind of shop because Boost Mobile is usually, at least here in my town, located in, I want to say sketchy parts, but definitely lower, lower end parts of the city. Um, so like I said, they're cheap, you know, and people, everybody needs a phone. Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, you need a phone. Um, so, you know, um, for branding reasons, um, you really need to separate the postpaid brand from the prepaid brand. He said, noted that AT&T and Cricket, T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile and Verizon have multiple brands. Thanks to the track phone acquisition. Historically, Sprint had its brand and, uh, Boost Mobile, uh, prepaid was separate, which is true. Like I said, I lived through the whole Sprint um, debacle and everything, and it was true. Sprint was on the better side of town. Boost Mobile was not. Um, so it says, so the carriers uh, seem to be that they have a high-end postpaid brand and a lower-end prepaid brand. That is true because let's just go with AT&T and Cricket. So AT&T is postpaid, of course. And, of course, it got AT&T prepaid. But, you know, AT&T is well-known, you know, the business um, departments and you know, business customers and regular customers. But then, you know, you see Cricket and usually Cricket is the same thing, not on the best side of town, uh, but everybody knows it's prepaid. So it's kind of looked kind of down on, you know what I mean? Um, 
you know, if you're, if, if like I said, I don't know, let's say you're, you own, I don't know, a, a spot company. You're going to go with AT&T instead of a Cricket Wireless. You know, it's just what it is. Um, he says, uh, but another way, he said, if you wanted to ex- uh, extend Kmart and make it a high-end brand to compete with Nordstrom, it would call it Kmart Elite and try to compete with Nordstrom. But that would be a horrible, horrible idea, he said. If it were me, I'd go with Dish Wireless as my postpaid brand and not Boost Infinite, but then ask me. So I, I guess he's trying to say, you know, because it has Boost in it, they're trying to get away from Boost Mobile and the mindsets of people saying, oh, you know, this is some some lower brand stuff, you know, lower tier stuff. Call it Dish. I don't even know how Dish is supposed to be better, but dish elite or whatever like i don't know they should have called it something else but it says earlier this week dish announced uh the addition of G- uh, dollar general and kroger as the latest national retail partner with boost mobile adding almost twenty thousand new doors that carry the uh, brand's wireless service and devices boost mobile which has more than four thousand five hundred dealer locations according to dish also is sold through partners like walmart target and best buy Dish may be cooking up some other distribution deals, so they're trying to get into a lot of businesses that are established already. Like I said, if you go to a Dollar General, you usually see a Boost Mobile card and phones. You definitely see them at Walmart. I see them all the time, but not many in stock, actually. So citing people familiar with the matter, the Wall Street Journal on Thursday reported that Dish is in the talks to sell wireless plants through Amazon that would give the telecom uh, company a critical lifeline as it's been hit on multiple fronts. A cyber attack, of course, is one of them. So, yeah, it's a big thing. So, yeah. So, what do you guys think, guys? This video, I didn't think it was going to be this long, but there's just so much to talk about. I think this is a good idea to kind of get, you know, Boost Infinite kind of wet. Or should I say get their feet wet? wet, wet well, should get their feet wet in, uh, you know, or maybe get them get customers thinking about uh boost infinite you know if you're at a boost mobile store i'm there you know pay my bill and i see oh wait zero percent down on a s23 mm, how do i get that and then of course the sales reps um if you have a good sales rep they'll tell you about it and try to push you towards it and you'll close the sale or you know something like that and that can attract people away from boost mobile and into boost infinite and get more money for a dish network which owns them so yeah, my two cents. But thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Sorry, my, my mouth's getting kind of dry just from talking so long. Uh, if you want to support the channel, please check out the description below. It does help a lot if you check it out, like Honey and other ways you can support it. So thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And thank you. And a lot more videos coming your way. Let me know what you think about this. I'll try to read it as much as I can. Thank you.